Welcome to Slim Taking Gaming, where I give you the latest IPTV service in gaming. And today I want to talk about how to game on both Xboxes at the same time while one using a direct hard line and the other one using like it's not a direct hard line but close to it using a power line adapter. Uh, I've been gaming with, uh, I got a homeboy that comes to my house, and we gaming like, shoot, about, about twice a week, and we be on that Call of Duty, and uh, I had it set up where in my game room, my Xbox X is running straight hardwire, and my Xbox uh, S, that be in the living room, is running Wi-Fi, so the problem that's been going on is that one side be one side be weaker than the other. Like my like the the Wi-Fi that's connected to the one in the living room, it always be lagging, kicking out. And then the one in my room, I can't be able to get online. So I had to either had to try to I try port four in both of them. But you really can't. You only do one at a time. So I did like a DMZ on the one in my room and did a port forward into the one in the living room. It's still lagging in one living room. The game room was running fine. So I had to result into using a power line adapter. So I got this net gear. 1200 power line adapter and basically you have two power line adapters one goes into your um one connects to your router and then the other one connects to the uh to your device whether it be a game console pc whatever you know what i'm saying so let's get a close-up <clears throat> so you have Two of these, and they both have, as you can see, clearing up. Try to clear up. They both have one Ethernet port. And it come with this raggedy cable right here, which I don't use, and it's doing trash. So basically, it pulls to, as it shows on this box, uh, as you see on this box right here, it pulls the, this one right here, it pulls the, have a gigabit power line speed, perfect for connecting the smart TV, streaming players, and game consoles. Ideal for full KHD streaming and lag free gaming. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the test. I already did put it to the test, but I wanna show you how to, how to hook it up and everything. And by doing this method right here, you can be able to game, have both consoles gaming on the same, gaming, you know what I'm saying, on the same network with no hiccups. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I am going to be giving away this Android TV box uh, probably around a week after Thanksgiving. So subscribe, leave a comment, you know what I'm saying, and you might be one of the lucky ones. To get this Android box, I'm going to already got it hooked up to where it have like four movie apps. It's going to have Real the, um, Real the Bread for like six months. Have a Real the Bread account for like six months. All of them going to be ad-free. You know what I'm saying? Can't beat it. It's free. Everything good when it's free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this first power line up in my game room because I ain't going to be able to hook it up straight to my router because I got this uh, Netgear gaming switch that I'm going to hook it up to. So I got all my hardware devices hooked up to this gaming switch. All my computers and anything that's hardwired is hooked up to the switch. So instead of hooking up straight to my router, I'll hook up to the switch. Cause the switch gonna be doing all the work while the router just handles all the Wi-Fi. 
So therefore, I'm gonna start with the first one. I'm gonna plug this. Well, first I'm gonna um already ran a wire. Ugh. Already ran um one Ethernet Ethernet um wire to the back of my switch. So all I gotta do now is plug it right into this power line adapter, this first one. So when I yeah, I'll get angry. when I plug it up, supposed to light up green. First one power. Uh, second one Ethernet, and third one is a signal strength. So they're all lit up pretty much green. So all I gotta do now is go to my other one and hook it up. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm only showing two lights right now because there's only one hooked up right now. But the theory is you get all these green, you're going to have a, a real strong connection. If it be, uh, the third one is the connection speed. So if it if it lights up like in the amber, that does mean that it's not at full strength. So you want it all on green. And the tricky thing about <clears throat> the power line adapters that you might have to try different outlets. You can't use, you can't plug into a, uh, to a surge protector or power strip because it will interfere and cause a lag and everything. You gotta plug straight into the wall. There's no if, and, buts about it. They do got power line adapter with an extra outlet, a plug through outlet that be in the middle of it. And they run about like, I think like 129, something like that. But like these power line that I got, it's eighty dollars. You can get at Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon. So we're gonna go out here. <clears throat> we're gonna head straight to the living room. This is where I got my Go Xbox S hooked up, and I already got a ethernet cable I already got it on um, running through I already got it laid out as you can see I got my wires laid out so I'm going to plug this one straight to the other uh, the other power line alright so I got this one plugged in I'm going to plug straight to the outlet And as you can see, we go right now. We go right now. Now the one on the bottom, the connection, Xbox ain't on, so it's gonna turn like red, flash red, then it'll cut off. So don't worry about it. We're gonna give it a go. Now, one thing I don't like about the power line is that you're not gonna get your full internet speed on here. So pretty much your speed get cut down to like 50, I say around like 50%, probably 60, but you have a steady connection though. You know, you get no lag, you know what I'm saying? And your latency gonna be under 100. If your latency be over 100, your game is gonna be horrible. So you want to have it to where the uh, the latency is under 100 and you can at least about half your speed. I think the longer that you have your power line adapter hooked up to your uh, hooked up to the network and everything, I think that the connection get better over time where the latency is going to probably drop and then you probably get more speeds. You know what I'm saying? But I mean... It's better than Wi-Fi. You run Wi-Fi, you're not getting a solid connection. You get a hiccup, especially if you're not using five gigahertz. If you're using two point four, that means that if you run a microwave or you have any other uh, equipment that's online that's using 
that uh, gigahertz, that means you're going to lag, you're going to have problems. You got to use 5 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz kind of sucks in a way. As it's good because it's fast, but the, the, the signal strength is real weak. I mean, for it to work, I mean, shoot, the router got to be like in the next room in the opening, you know what I'm saying, where you can, can reach out to your device. But, I mean, if it got to go through walls and bricks, it's a legacy problem. So, as you can see right here, I got everything cut back. Got my Xbox cut on and stuff. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you, like, my network speed is 150. I got Comcast. So, my speed is 150. But they gave me, like, a, they give you, like, an extra bump if you got that cable service. So, Sometimes it go up to like 165, 175, you know what I'm saying? One time 180, but I pull I got 150. I like, you know what I'm saying? 150, anything extra, that's good. But for game online, like playing on uh, Call of Duty, you're only using the most you build to use is like five megabits per second. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But it's all about the latency. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a speed test. Like I said, this is run off a power line adapter. <clears throat> and hopefully we get results in a second. All right, so my download speed is 54.64 megabits per second, upload 16.60, my latency is 72. Like I said, anything under 100 is good. And um, I'll do one more speed test. I'll do one more. Like I said, You'll, you'll get a steady connection with the power line adapters. You won't get no hiccups or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you really break it down. You have the top bread is running straight wire. Like, plugging straight to the wire. Straight, um, plugging straight to the router. Or uh, straight to your Ethernet switch. If you're using, your like, your gaming switch. Like, the Netgear gaming switch. You got a switch like that, that doing all the work for your router. You got a game switch, you use that. So you, when you plug it straight into the switch or plug it straight into the router, you're going to get full speed. As with a power line adapter, which got trapped through all these walls and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Even though it said, like, when I got 1,200 megabits per second, you know what I'm saying? That's just the travel speed. That's not like the speed of the internet it just the, the travel speed through the walls and stuff but you see right here i ran again 87 latency 54.61 so out of 150 megs i get in 54 you know what i'm saying so that's a oh, way a little bit way over 50 percent you know what i'm saying a, a little bit uh, yeah it's way over 50 percent you know what I'm saying? The data probably it ate up about 60, 60 to 65% of my data. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting the full strength. But at the same time, me and my, uh, my friend was able to gain with no problem. You know what I'm saying? He was able to get on Call of Duty with no lag and no problem like that. Because, you know what I'm saying? When, you, when you're playing games like that, only using around like four to five megabits per second. That's it. That if you be playing like Call of Duty or Madden 2K, you know what I'm saying? That's good. So if you have like a plan, if you got like data plan that's like if you got a hundred megs and then you want to get like 34 or 40, that's still good, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying, this is better than trying to run, get somebody to run wires off to your house. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, everything's running running pretty much A-OK. -okay. And as you see right here, when you look at the lights, it'd be the same as in my other room, all green. 
So you had maximum, you had maximum speed. You know, travel through walls and stuff. So this is how you can set up everything. The game, you know, you can have both hardware, both gaming hardware running on hardwire. You know what I'm saying? Instead, you have to run wires all through the house. You can just use a power line adapter while the other one is directly plugged in. Use a power line adapter because power line technically is way better than Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi have too many issues, you know what I'm saying? Uh, me and my friend been playing and he, he been getting lags, disconnect, and he been getting full in that speed. When I did the test, I got the full 150, latency was like 57, but like I said, the hiccups. You know what I'm saying? The connection in, in and out, in and out. But the power line adapters is running straight through, no hiccups, steady pace, you know what I'm saying? So um get at your boy. If you wanna uh, if you have any questions about how I have my network set up and anything, if that's me question, you know what I'm saying? I tell you, you need me to make a bit a video of how I got my whole uh, network set up. I'll be glad to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, all I got is I got my um, Netgear gaming switch. It it does all the work um, for the hard wire connection while the wire just does the Wi-Fi part and it made the latency on my Xbox real low. You know what I'm saying? Around like the, the 50s and 40s. You know what I'm saying? The latency real low. And you know what I'm saying? I, I get uh I get I get hardly no latency on mine. So uh get at me, you know what I'm saying? Hit give me a like, give me a subscribe, and like I said, I'm gonna have a good way a week after Thanksgiving. So like, subscribe, you know what I'm saying, leave a comment, you know, about a video where it be bad, good, whatever, and you be entering to uh win that Android box with the four movie apps and with six months of real the bread all right this is snap taking gaming and i'll holler at you later